guys, it's your girl Cammy here. Yeah, welcome, welcome back to my channel where I teach you how to put intention into your life so that you can become the best version of you and create the reality that you want. If this is your first time seeing my face, make sure you subscribe, like, and turn on the post notification bell so you know when I upload my next video. Comment down below any questions that you have. And yeah, this video is on everybody is you pushed out. I think I say it again in this video, but I don't know. I'm going to say it again. If you have not watched my previous video about self-concept, stop. Watch this. Watch that first because you're not going to really get what I'm saying. Unless you know what self-concept is. I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to go to sleep. Good night, y'all. I hope you like this video. <laughs> Hi. Okay. This is my third video that I filmed today. Yeah. Well, technically it's the fourth. Okay, so today we're gonna to be talking about everybody as you pushed out. If you have not seen my self-conscious video, stop, pause, go watch it now. Go watch it now. I'll link it down in the description, but self-concept, everyone as you pushed out, besties. That's literally the exact wording that I put in my notes, and I wasn't even reading them. Everyone showed up how you wish them that they would show up. What you assume about yourself, others will act out. If you assume that everybody hates me, that's my self-concept, I'm a terrible person, everybody hates me, guess what? Every single person is going to think I'm a terrible person, and guess what? They're going to hate me, or I'm ugly, I'm gross. Guess what? They think I'm ugly. They think I'm gross. Or I never understand anything. Like I'm just, I'm just a bad student. Guess what? My report cards. F F F F F. No. Self concept needs to change. But the reality changer is, yeah. For example, another example. This is like something that comes from me. Like this actually happened to me before I even knew about manifestation. I was in like this dark place and I was kept telling myself, people hate me, people hate me, nobody wants to talk to me, no one wants to talk to me. Guess what? Even the people who were talking to me stopped calling, stopped texting. I went have a period of like three or four months where I didn't receive a text message. Because people don't have free will, they have no choice but to act out my manifestations and I was manifesting that nobody liked me or wanted to talk to me. Not even consciously because, shoot, I manifested all of this, you manifest your reality. That's how it works. Where's my face like? Our thoughts create. Even if you don't want them to create, they're gonna create. That's how manifestation works, bestie. This does not mean that you should beat yourself up when something goes wrong. That's totally fine. It's a learning experience. Things, negative things happen to you because you need to learn. Maybe you didn't know that you had a small little assumption about yourself in the back of your brain, but something happens and you're like, oh, I did think that. Or I did think I was an unlovable. That's why I have no friends. Or that's why the person who said that they would never leave me left. Maybe you think that everybody leaves you. I don't know. I had that assumption at one point. That's sad. <laughs> That's really sad. Anyway, but also, when you're working on your self-concept or yourself, everybody that you pushed out, let's say, I'm going to use my bestie over here. My, be my bestie, my teddy bear. My teddy bear says that he hates me. I am the worst person in the world. No, I'm not accepting that. I'm correcting him in my mind. Because what he said was wrong. What he meant to say was that he loves me and that he thinks I'm the most beautiful person in the entire world. It doesn't have to be that extreme, though. Like, it could just be like your teacher being like, you don't get an extension because you don't turn in your work on time. No, what she said was wrong. I get an extension because I'm an amazing student and I deserve it. And guess what? You're getting your extension. And then be like, because nobody has free will and everybody's just pushed out. The assumptions that you have about people can be used for good. For example, your friend's crying. You can manifest their mood. Someone's mad at you? No, they're not. Someone's sad? No, they're not. Obviously, like, it's not necessarily manipulation, but still at the same time, people need to feel their emotions. But if it's like, okay, 
he's really gloomy and I'm worried. Manifest affirm that they have a good mood, that they're great, that they feel good. You can use your power for good. And you can change what people think about you. And it's not even that hard. Like literally all you have to do is change the way you think about yourself and they have no choice but to. Because everyone as you push out, what you assume about people will come true and what you assume about yourself, they will carry out. This is an even shorter video than my last video. I hope that this was helpful. Bless me, babes. Eh. See you in the next video.